Um, to make my wagon stew, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using crayfish, and uh, this is uh, the dry crayfish. I'm going to be using 20 grams of uh, pepper. I think it's called Cameroon pepper or cayenne pepper, um, or I don't know, but it's it's. It, I think in Nigeria we have the longer one, but we don't get the longer one. But this is really spicy, honestly. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Um, the dried pepper which is which is this I'm gonna be using shambo which is a dried shambo so I'm gonna wash this and soak these two in water I'm gonna use one old medium size of onion salt I'm gonna be using two maggi also I'm gonna be using palm oil one teaspoon of uh, dried pepper and we'll see you shortly so what I'm going to do now I'm gonna wash this um, which is my chumbo and my pepper and soak it so I'm going to wash this and soak it um, in water for 15 to 20 minutes until it's soft then I'm going to um, drain it and blend it together with my crayfish right um, as my tatashe and my um, Cameroon, Cameroon pepper or, you know is, is soaking in the water um, what I'm going to do I'm going to prepare my onions So wow, so this has been soaking for 15 minutes now. I mean, you can soak it more than 15 minutes if you want. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to blend it. You are not going to blend it fully. So we're just going to blend it um, coarsely, that means roughly. I'm going, to, I'm going to pour a little bit into that. So I want it half of what I'm going to blend together, actually. So just pour a little bit more. As you can see, the water and the pepper are in the same level, and that's what we want. I am not going to add any tomato to it. As I said, I'm not going to add any plum tomato. At this point, what I want to do, I'm going to add crayfish in it. So that's fine, and that goes in there. So at this point, you just want to check and just make sure that is roughly chopped perfect so this is what we want it's what we're going to be using to make our ewa going stew i'm going to need 375 ml of palm oil so this is 250 i'm going to need 375 um, ml of palm oil so this is uh, 250 and i'm also going to add another another 125 so all together I need 375 ml so I've got all my palm oil in there now so that's it now we need to bleach this so you have to put your um, you have to set your your cooker up to very high heat and we're gonna bleach that before we add our onions <coughs> right um, <coughs> It's been bleaching now for six minutes, so I'm just going to lower the heat now. I really don't like bleaching, to be honest. <clears throat> but I'm just going to show you the color now of um, exactly what we want. Um, and I'm just going to show my viewers, for those who don't know what the difference uh, is going to be. So. Or what the difference looks like. Now, this is a normal palm oil and this is a bleached palm oil so onions remember my chopped onions so i'm gonna pour my onions into the bleach the other one that was peeled but this one you can you see your onion standing so i'm just gonna pour that into right <clears throat> You want this dark color onions. So what we're going to do is we're going to add. Um, I don't have cayenne pepper, so I'm just going to add six of this. But you can add more if you really want it. I'm going to add one teaspoon of my dry cayenne pepper. Just spread it there. It makes it really spicy and lovely. And just mix it together. Now you want to add maggi cube um, to this sauce. This is beautiful. Um, that's it, just squeeze it in there, perfect, and also 
you can see perfect so at this point now I'm just going to add my pepper which I've all grounded up beautiful Ooh. and what you just have to do is just allow this to cook on the low heat and bingo so. right um, the argoin stew is ready now and I'm just gonna just show you let me just turn that off and it's been there for roughly around 40 minutes um, on the medium heat and that is what we are talking about that is the stew and if you can see you know it looks so so lovely as you can see there's lots of palm oil on it and that is what a going is about if you make your wagon stew without this palm oil then you know because that palm oil is really really what makes it the wagon stew